Hello and welcome back to Retro Rampage. We're here with episode 21 and we're playing Kickle Cubicle. Nice. Or in this case, Rainbow Banding as what's happening on my television yeah. right Intense now. Intense colors going across the screen at one time. <laughs> It seemed, well, I guess it's puzzle week over here at Retro Rampage. It's the second puzzle game in a row, and really the only two puzzle games we did. Oh no, don't show the demo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is like this game's from Irem, which is known for our type, Ninja Spirit, a lot of crazy shit, and here yeah. we are with this gooby ass yeah, puzzle. Yeah, R E M. Yeah. <laughs> Orange Crush. It's a puzzle game. You gotta well, I guess the backstory would be you res you gotta help the princess rescue all the people in bags. It's fucking weird. Yeah, the the story's convoluted and obviously Eastern. Pretty much what you gotta do is collect the uh, dream bags, which for this video we'll call douche, douche bags. bags. Douche bags. It's a little green. You can, oh, yeah, yeah, green you blue fuckers show up. You can go get that shit now. You can I know. I was just showing a little run through. Yeah, you collect the douche bags, then he floats away on a balloon in a circle of carrots. The whole island crumbles, <laughs> global warming. Each there's four worlds that have a theme. This is Garden World. Each level's got a different vegetable, and a random vegetable might talk to you. The second world's Fruit Land, which we'll call fruits. The fruits. Third world's Cake Land, where everything's a nice little delicious dessert or some pastry. sort of pastry. Yeah. Uh... The fourth world's Toy Land. Basically, it's, you can see how the basic puzzles work. You gotta find your way to the bags. So, these little guys are usually spawned at every level. They make ice cubes, you put them in the water, it makes a bridge. You're gonna run into all kinds of hazards. Assholes like this purple people eater prick. <laughs> Which, I think I can kill him. Hold on. Yeah, yep, that sure. motherfucker. As you can see, there's ice pops there. They're also some for bonus points. Where are the fudgicles, Bart? Where are the fudgicles? <laughs> First of all, it's Fudge Sickle. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a conversation from the Cornstalk. Oh, look at this guy. Oh my God, is that is that Beautiful. is that Tingle's grandfather? Yeah, <laughs> the precursor to good old Tingle from Zelda. The Beautiful Fantasy Kingdom is now under the rule of the Wizard King. Wow, really inventive names. Yeah. The ravishing palaces were hidden, and these islands were made to confine us. Kickle, please get back the palaces and revive the Fantasy Kingdom. Yeah, thanks for that, pal. Yeah, this yeah this started off as an arcade game, right? Yeah, very rarely. Yeah, this is actually an arcade game. I've never seen a cabinet for this. No. I can't even tell you if it was an American arcade yeah, game. Yeah, I don't even know if... Yeah, I don't think we got something like that. And one that that came out two years before the NES release, right? Yeah, we got our own little pal balls in this one. Yeah, they, they came out in 88. This version's from 1990. So, I guess considering for Nintendo's lifespan, it kind of came late in the game, right before the SNES came out, so... More obscure puzzle game. Most people don't know about this. I knew a few people that knew about it. And most people are fond of it. It's a yeah, pretty fun game. Yeah, yeah you know what? Like, I, I was just going to say that as well. Most right. people I know that have played this game do enjoy it. And they also enjoy bell peppers. Yes. Green <laughs> bell peppers. Eat a bell pepper. Kickle himself, I don't quite know what he is. He's very pale. He's wearing earmuffs. Yet he's wearing a guinea tee. So he's got to be freezing his balls off. And he's got really weird shoes. And headphones? I was going with earmuffs, but it could be either way. I don't think Irem even knew what the fuck he was No, no. I think, I think Irem fucking tied a blindfold around themselves and went like, let's make this game. And they just drew a character and went, eh, that works. Side note, all uh, earmuffs aside. The Japanese version, you can actually select any of these worlds on the fly. Not well, not the individual levels, but you can actually. You go can to... play the worlds in whatever order you want. So that means you don't have to do vegetables, then fruit, and whatever the hell. Now, do mind you, they they do get harder in difficulty. So pretty much like one, two, three, and four. So if you were to play Toyland first, if you had no idea how to play this game, you'd be royally screwed. But if you had a Famicom version of this game, you probably know what you're doing. So wouldn't have much. Now I know right now the gameplay looks a little boring, a little shitty. There's not much variety, but believe me, it really gets pretty intense. You also have these little stoppers. So you can kind of, uh, you can guide the block where you want. Like, obviously yeah. that's ineffective. You can also use them to block, to block the enemies. <laughs> you break your own blocks, too. No, I gotta stop kicking around and actually get this so we can move on here. Was this thing just walking me through? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, hopefully nobody saw that. Hopefully the eggplant will uh, distract you from that one. Show. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's about eleven levels left. Some of the levels have cute little shapes. 
As you can see, this kind of looks like a little snowman or a kickle or something. I don't know. Alright, here's a little variety. You got a spring. <laughs> now, your own blocks under spring pressure will wipe you out. They, so. Yeah, they'll damage you. Oh, we're getting the corner. Alright, I cannot get on the block. <laughs> I've had a very bad day, so this might go a little rough. <laughs> Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Pumpkin chunkin'. Punk. Pumpkin chunkin'. Right, I don't know, but Pumpkin Chunkin's probably hit. I'd say at least a quarter of the reason everyone hates America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the first appearance of the chicken with sunglasses. He's actually going to be the first, uh, a variation of him is going to be the first boss that we're going to get to. Coke. Or cock, or whatever you want. Cock, yeah. You, his name is spelled that You kill way. him, he comes right back out of the pods and regenerate the little blue slime fucks. So, I mean, you can get him out of the way, but then he oh. comes at you again, so... When you freeze something to him, he has to kick it, so he's gonna get all gooey and fucking sex nuts. Yeah, he gets... he's addicted to kicking. It's a strange addiction to have, I know, but... What can you do? Well, this... He's... he's kinda just there to annoy you and kick your shit when you're trying to do he's something. He's bothering like you and trying to get the douchebags. Was that a potato? I don't even know. A yam, maybe? An army yeah. sheep yam? A chody yam? <laughs> Is it a yam, Brian? If it talked to us, we would have known what it was. It didn't. What is this? This, was this looks like a rabbit. bear. Okay, I'll go with... Yep, yeah, yeah, bear. Yes. Bear looks good. It looks like a floppy-eared... Oh, this Tanooki one. Oh, yeah. He's a real son of a bitch. Forget what he does. He dies. Mean, they're all he dies. Let's get a little creative here. Oh, God, stop breaking... Oh, yeah, he breaks your blocks. Now we're using our little, uh, getting... Oh, God. Oh, God! Uh, somebody get up here, please. You have a block. That's him. Oh. Man, you got me all confused. I, I almost got you murked. Just just kick the... Yeah. All right, this, this is... Kick so the damn cubicle. Enemies, uh, note these little guys can't go on these, uh, purple blocks, and you also can't use them for anything. You can't put your little blockers on them. That was pretty cool. Get away from me. <laughs> Dickhead! <laughs> yeah. Someone go, hey, you clowns, go, no, 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 go down! <laughs> um, yeah, place a, yeah. Run his ass over. That's right. We're, we're going there. Okay, so there. So I'm freezing. Peace. We got on the I guess level total, there's probably got to be like 60 levels in this game. And also, yeah. after you beat the game, they have 30 special levels, which are other. Uh, they're they're painfully difficult. Crab, Crab Island. Search. Pausing's very useful in this game. You, you'll learn down the road to pause and kind of check out your situation to see what you gotta do. Yeah, cause cause sometimes trying to think of where you need to kick blocks on the fly can be a pain in the ass. Are you good? Yeah. No. Okay. I was thinking, man, I I am not thinking straight. I am not the puzzle. You got a cucumber fry. Perhaps it's a snow pea. <laughs> Perhaps it's a pod of snap peas, Brian. <laughs> Maybe snap peas is what I was looking for. <laughs> this is like a skull. Oh, there's a bunch of cocks. Yeah, you gotta let. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah kick it at me, buddy. Come on. Thanks for the help, douchebag. Coming around. Now I gotta freeze this little guy so he kicks him at me. And I froze him instead. <laughs> now let's get sit here and wander around. There you, there you go. Come here, cop. Turnips. We'll marry you too for you. Yeah. Or Doki Doki Panic if you wanna get really technical about get it. Technical about it. I don't want any Lost Levels fans riding my ass. Kind of robot, all the spinners. 
Oh, yeah. These guys go around the perimeter, so pretty much when you invite them in your area, they decide to bother you. They also kill the little blue buddies. Nah, we're back to the characters. They couldn't even think of enough vegetables to get through the whole world. We got carrots, potatoes, onions, peas, and carrots. I think after this last level, we're gonna show you the cock fight. Yeah. Gotta get over here and set up a basis. Go trip me. Bastards. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can bank them into each other as well. So, like, you can if you have a block somewhere, you can kind of set that up. There's also like hammer things in the, in this game. Yeah, there's... where you need to set up like you need to kick a cube into a hammer to it spins launch it around you. based yeah. on the angle set out to throw it a certain way. Yeah, it's some of them get really obnoxious. This, oh, one, this one's a, this one's a don't bitch. do that yet. Number get in. That thing sucks. Oh god. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull this off the ring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, S-M-D. Get it off of the bell peppers, man. Kickle back. Oh god. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that. Off this cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of puns for this shit. This one just Kickstarter. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Why Kickle was chosen, and why he's the only person of his own kind, I don't know. I don't even remember what the princess looks like. I don't even know if she's human-looking. I, I think she is. I think she looks... humanly. Now, what are the little, like, holes? Uh, you, you just can't do nothing about them. You can't film them, because they're round. Get it? You're blocking with them. Oh! Square peg Yeah, basic elements. Alright, let's get fast forward to this boss fight. Yeah, you know, the boss fight is an entirely different gameplay. Yeah, it's not even considered a puzzle. Yeah, it throws you like a little platform action style thing. So while we're gonna fast forward, yeah, so to we're that. gonna fast forward to that last round there, and we'll be back for the boss fight. All right, and uh, here we are. We just cleared the last. Hi, stage. I'm a tomato. We're getting talked to by a tomato. Hurry up, Kickle! Climb this random vine, which is going to sprout here. Out it's of erecting fucking nowhere. Erecting fucking sprout. Erecting vine. You can reach the palace. Monsters in the palace scaring the princess. Great writing, by the way. Yeah, he's just sitting there scaring her. Please destroy him. Murder him, Kickle. It's your destiny. <laughs> Fuck this guy's day. Kickle's this, you know, he's like this little cute character. Go murder mm. this guy. Fly there with the balloon. Climb the vine. Here we go. Make it a ride. Kickle probably wants to take a back row. Ooh. Feels like such a douche. Well, <laughs> goober. Goober's a good word for him. With his he's, icebreaker breath that freezes everything. He's like baby Huey. Why couldn't I jump in the whole game? Why is he jumping clouds now? <laughs> Had to deal with these terrible obstacles because he couldn't jump. <laughs> Are we gonna reclaim the uh, uh here we go, pumpkin palace. <clears throat> that bottom right pumpkin predicted the uh PlayStation 1's controller yeah. layout before it, <laughs> before it even came out. Just walk across the clouds head in now. The boss fights, you gotta, they're gonna spit shit at you and you gotta throw it back. So we gotta fight Cox's uncle. Coke. Yeah, Coke. He. He. Welcome. I lost my eye in Vietnam and now I'm gonna take your princess and have my I have way. been waiting for you. Freeze the place over. So you're gonna avoid this thing. Let's get breaking the spots and I'm gonna... Yeah, you gotta kick a block at him. Hit him in his teeth. I bet you he's gonna rush at you somewhere. So you gotta, yeah, when he rushes at you, you gotta... I think he only takes three hits and the bosses take more consecutive hits. Yeah, he's yeah. already done. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, there are some later bosses that take a lot more hits than that, and they have even more obnoxious patterns. The second boss is a giant clown who rides on a ball. <laughs> he's annoying. The third oh, boss is a God, turtle that throws shells Kapan or Japan or whatever the fuck his name Princess is. Pumpa. Pumpa? <laughs> Oh my dear, King Princess Pumper. Pumper Pumpernickel. Yeah, she tells you what I already told you. There's four palaces. Sorry, but I'm in another castle. How do you feel about my bosom, Kickle? 
I understand that I have a limited color palette, but how do you feel about my bosom? Fruits! Ah, here come the fruits. <laughs> Fruit land. Hmm. What is that supposed to be? A pineapple, maybe? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Colors change up a little bit. They start, you know, at least giving you something to work with. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... As you can see now, it's starting to get a little more harebrained. I might want to get the hell out of here. You have to get the hell in there. I know. Well, I was trying to get out of the corner. <laughs> there, we go. there you go. Take back my little, uh, what are those things called? Hastics? The things you put your feet up on? Yeah. The wheels on. Ottoman. Cool. Ottoman, yeah. Let me move the ottoman. <laughs> they get the butt cheek fucking fruit. The orchard or whatever the fuck. I don't know what they are. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know if that was a peach or what. A peach? That's probably better than, uh, <laughs> orchard. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Aw, like, uh, these bombs. You missed them. They uh, did make an appearance in World 1. If you're anywhere near the blast zone, so you, and you can't do nothing about these guys except just get the hell out of the way. Oh or you God! can just eat it. No, yeah, you have to, you have to like dodge them because otherwise they rage and explode. Oh, look at the power of love revive their little buddy. Which is funny because like the princess is just like a straight up human. Oh, you gotta block them. Yeah, that's right. You gotta put the the ottomans up in front of them. Save yourself. So you gotta pretty much wait to get through this one. Let's do a block. Screw these guys. God. Go! Go! Melon! <laughs> what about our apple? I don't know. Because there's no real, like, scale. Everything yeah, is just every... the same, like, 8x8. Eight eight the bell right. pepper and the giant watermelon are the same size. <laughs> exactly. That is a, that is uh, a fucking This is the clown that will be pepper. the boss of this level. One of these guys. So you kind of get a pre- Ooh. Ooh. You kind of get a preview of what the boss is going to be based on some of the random characters. The turtle will make an appearance in World 3. Wait, see if the, uh, see if the ottoman will stop those fucking beast balls. I think it does. But now he won't kick one. Yeah, well, now, now it's too late. Yeah, you can, you can freeze him from behind, it looks like, though. I don't know. I might, it might have been because we've done that. Oh. Get the fuck out of town on that Cutting one. Cut it close. Cut it close. Give me some cherries. Some Pac-Man cherries. Load me up. Fruitland. <laughs> Christ. Oh, oh the, turrets. the turrets. The titty turrets. As I'm sure you're judging from Now it's like reaction. playing Super C. <laughs> you, you, you gotta take down the Ottomans yeah, and, and set up your barrier. Your As I blindly walked right into gunfire. Yeah. Super C overhead stage. Yeah. At least they're unlimited. At least I think they are. We're gonna find out in a few short pieces here. So if you, if you can imagine all these hazards combining, that's how the like level. That's how the later forward. levels are. You got yeah. turrets, hammers, clowns, uh, the, the chicken, the chicken, the bombs, the bombs. Uh, it turns into a friggin' nightmare. And it turns into a fucking shit show. Kegel's gonna have post-traumatic stress after all this. Shit. <laughs> PTSD cubicle, <laughs> therapist's cubicle. <laughs> See the oh, blue guys. Right. You gotta use the springies. I gotta go all the way around. I gotta go and watch out for Tanuki. Boom. Boom. Oh, this guy's gonna appear in a couple seconds. Stay frozen, dickhead. The first thing oh. he did was unfreeze. Immediately. Oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> then he just died. He just drowned in frigid Arctic waters. <laughs> you got the grapes, Brian. Wait, maybe uh, Kickle's a snowman. Yeah, probably. He's Frosty's little nephew. Oh, there's the hammer. There it is. Now, theory of operation. I believe the game introduces an easy ticket, but you'll see in later levels you have to set them up yourself. Yeah, just... yeah that yeah. was easy, but you'll see later. They're not. They're oh, not... get away from mm. you! This is strawberry. my raspberry motherfucker. You go. Strawberry. Uh, sorry, they're like the round, bulbous portions of a raspberry. It honestly might be. I cannot be 100%. I don't know. Iram's not around anymore to ask him, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a turret. This looks like a fucking headache. We're gonna block him off. Block that one. And this one, too. Otherwise, you're dead. Nice. That's a peach. That was clean. That's a peach. Alright, then I don't know what that first one was. I don't know either. 
I'm not gonna speculate. <laughs> it's the ass cheek fruit. Oh, I think we get a talking peach. Yeah. Is it female or is it an orange? Oh, it's an orange. Oh, Damn you, maybe the, then maybe the first one was a fucking peach still. Together with our princess. Yeah, she drowned. Help her out. Alright, why don't we show the clown fight? Let's get to this clown motherfucker. Yeah. So let's fire him up and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Maybe we'll show a little preview of Cake Land. Alright, so we're gonna show you the clown douchebag and then uh, we'll wrap things up. Alright, and we're here with the uh, clown asshole. The boss of Fruitsland, Piro. Good job to come up here, and, well, we didn't show you this scene before, and this is underwater, so for him to say good job to come up here, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, good job to come up underwater. But you have to give what? up now. If you've dealt with all this bullshit, <laughs> just give up. He has that, like, Homer 5 o'clock shadow, too. Eat yeah. your own, bo eat your own eat balls. Eat your own balls. <laughs> Boss mm. music's kind of fun. Not that there's too much variety in music, it's pretty much the same song. It's kind of a ditting little tune, but the boss music's kind of cool. Typical 8-bit, you know, boss kind of fair. Yeah, upbeat, energetic. Oh, I forgot about the flip move. Ninja asshole. Damn. Mm. He's gonna give you the fucking Oh, we got some sprite flicker. There's too many balls on the screen at one time. <laughs> Ah, fucking ninja asshole. A clown and an acrobat. You need to just kick that line of balls. Let's just get him out of the way. I want to try to leave one so it's like near him. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, they get progressively more annoying. I don't know if you oh, got. Oh, I know what I gotta do. When he lands, I'm gonna sidekick his yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna try that. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you can just smack him while he's up there. If you have one that's close to him, when he seems to want to avoid you. Oh, I was only facing the other way. That would have been. You streets of raged it. <laughs> you were facing the wrong way. There he is. There Fuck we go. you. Oh, no piece of shit. Well, yeah, there's the boss of the second world. Um, there's two more full worlds after this. We're going to Fallopian Tube. Yeah. <laughs> See, the, See the definitely uh, Middle Eastern style Princess Jasmine. Yeah. Look, Tia. You are great. You're just great. You are great, Kickle. The Apple guys are rocking shell tops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. How about fighting horrible monsters? Nobody reply on, reply. Rely on me. Yeah, it's great. Alright, I'm going to Cake Land now. Cockland. Cake Land. There's ice cream and gum ice, drops it's and. It's flan. Oh, and see, a big it's fork. a big fork! Ha <laughs> ha! This episode of Retro Rampage as you was can filmed already in front of a live see. studio ostrich. Ha <laughs> ha! As you can already see from this level, it, it gets, gets a little more. A little, yeah, it, it's almost reminiscent of Bomberman, except instead of blowing shit up, you gotta kick blocks. Pretty, pretty much. Oh, I muddled my way through part of this, but I didn't realize what I'm doing. Yeah, you managed to grab like three of the fucking coin purses without even trying. The coin. Oh, the, oh springs! the springs! Well, that's it for episode 21. It's uh, a good puzzle game. Yeah. It's fun, relatively unknown. It's a cheap ass game. Yeah. It's like 10, 15 bucks. I don't know what a box copy goes for, so you can hold me accountable. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I never I had the no pleasure idea. of looking one up. I've never it's gotten fun. drunk enough to look up a box copy of Kickle Cubicle. It, it might not be as enjoyable to watch me struggle through this, but it's, it's really it fun is It play. is a nice, challenging puzzler, and as you saw, it does get, like, progressively more difficult. So it, it at least eases you into the... <gasps> now you got a permanent block. I don't care. Yeah, I it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Totally I'm just it. blowing everything in sight <laughs> while we finish up here. But we did yeah. actually get to the end of this game before, but I, you were over, I think, yeah. when me and Annie did it, so yeah. it's doable. I think the whole playthrough took about three hours of dicking around. Oh, I'm actually getting through this. <laughs> but it's a very fun uh, puzzle game. It's different. It's a little it's, original. It's kind of yeah. like uh, Lolo a little bit, kind of yeah. reminiscent of yeah, that. Yeah, reminiscent but... of Adventures of Lolo, definitely. Like, in just like the art style and everything. It's very similar to that. But again, it's cheap, pretty easy to find. So, definitely pick this up for your NES collection. Um, it's enjoyable, it's fun, and it's different. It's something funny, it's a little odd. Yeah, because, I mean, the NES, for the most part, was like, you know, platformer shooters, platformer shooters, a, a lot of the same 
So, if you if you're looking for something different, definitely pick up Kibble Cubicle. And As I'm always, dying. you know, if you get murked, just Eat make sure shit you and get back. brought back by the power yeah, of love, the power of a heart. Be sure or to check us out on the next episode. As always, keep it old school. Peace.